Hey everybody, it's David Pingree with Upshift Online. We're out here today with a 2018 CRF 450RX that we've sort of modified and made a little more aggressive. This thing is, is already designed to be an off-road competition machine, uh, whether it's GNCC, Works, or Hare and Hound, uh, or just if you're a, a good off-roader that likes to go fast and really charge the trails. We just wanted to take it from its stock trim, polish it up a little bit, make it look better, make it work a little bit better. So we hit up a few of our, uh, our key companies we like to use, Vertex High Performance Pistons. We put a high compression piston in this, that's all we did to the engine. Uh, the stock Honda motor is really good. This just gives it a little bit more kind of across the board. Uh, we threw our FMF slip-on mufflers on here, stock header, uh, which again just gives you a little bit better sound, a little bit better throttle response. So it's a nice addition while keeping kind of the stock power curve, which we like. Um, as far as the suspension, we went to factory connection. The, the R comes quite a bit stiffer than the RX. So if you're pushing really hard, this thing can get a little soft, kind of depending on what you like. So we just had them revalve it, give us a little bit more of a, an aggressive setting. Uh, so we're anxious to see what that feels like on the trail today. Uh, on top of that, Sykra has given us a whole new set of plastic for this. We've got a Baja Designs headlight, which maybe isn't necessary, kind of depends on the riding you're doing. Uh, we just think it looks cool, and if we ever get to where we're out somewhere at night, we've got some light to work with. A full tusk wheel set. Um, these things are great. They're affordable. They're, they work great. Uh, some Dunlop AT81 tires, some off-road tires. Uh, it's got uh, also a tusk, tusk rotors and a tusk rear rotor protector, which is pretty cool if you're riding in a lot of rocky areas. And then we've got our super sprock sprocket on this, and this is the uh, the dual composition. So it's aluminum center with an outer steel, uh, makes that makes it very durable. You can get so many miles on this thing before they need to be replaced. So uh, those are great products. Uh, IMS tank. This gives us a lot more range. Um, lets you literally be able to go out and ride all day, depending on who you're riding. Uh, Renthal bars and grips. These are their wet weather, all weather grips, which are nice if you get into some wet weather like we potentially could have today. Uh, Decal Works did all our graphics up. We've got a moto seat seat on here with some ribs to um, just kind of keep us in place. Climbing hills and, and tight sections, this is really nice. A full Henson clutch, which gives us a little bit more durability and a better feel, uh, particularly if you're climbing um, and having to kind of fan the clutch up climbs and things like that. It doesn't, doesn't fade, just has a nice consistent feel to it. We, we like using those products. So uh, we're going to take this thing out and put some time on it, show you guys uh, the bike in action. And we'll get back to you with some feedback. All right, we just buttoned up a, a fun trail loop up here in the hills, and um, this bike is a lot of fun. You know, it's the, the RX model is is definitely an aggressive off-road racing trail bike, but um, it really kind of encourages you to push harder and ride faster, which I like. Um, as far as the changes we made, um, the big tank is nice. It's not it's not really noticeable. You know, some of them feel really bulky between your legs, but this thing's not bad and gives you a ton of range. I mean, we could have ridden all day on this tank. Um, the exhaust, and we also had Tokyo Mods map our ignition for us, something I didn't mention earlier. And that just uh, just cleans up the power, lets it run out a little longer, a little sharper throttle response. Uh, we also have a Tusk lightweight battery in here, and a BTL slipper, it's a partial slipper cut clutch from Henson. And uh, you can feel that, I, I actually asked about it mid-ride, because I can, when I got on the brakes really hard, I could feel the clutch, you know, something modulating in there. And it's actually a nice feature if you're going from high speed to, to braking really hard. Um, it doesn't ever feel like it wants to stall. Um, which it doesn't do that a ton anyway. This bike chugs pretty well with the, the gearing and whatnot. But anyway, it was a nice feature. We like that. Uh, these AT uh, tires from Dunlop work really well on a wide, a wide range of terrains. We really like those. Um, these hand guards are a, a godsend. I mean, you know, anytime we got into brush or... Even if you tip over, you know, it saves your hands from getting stabbed by the levers. Uh, so those are really nice. The, the foot pegs, super sharp. Um, these scar foot pegs, really, really good platform. And uh, anyway, I had a ball on this bike. Um, definitely 
lets you push to the next level if you're if you're trying to go fast off road or trail riding, and uh, it kind of encourages you, builds confidence in you to do that. So, uh, thanks to everybody involved. This was an awesome project and a whole lot of fun out on the trails. Thanks for watching.